Hi, I'm Christy Frank, and welcome to America's Leading Experts. This is a show that brings you the country's best and brightest professionals, as well as information you need to live a happy, healthy, and wealthy life. Joining us today is our special guest, Rachel Moger, and she's the host of Bringing It Back to the Table with Healthy Cooking. Welcome to the show, Rachel. Thank you. How are you? I'm awesome. Great. Well, before we start hearing about your show, mm -hmm. tell us a little about your background. Well, I have three amazing children, mm -hmm. um, Caitlin, Ashton, and Eliana, mm -hmm. and they're five, seven, and 11. Oh. And all three kids were born at home. Wow. Um, they're just beautiful, bright, healthy children, and um, obviously married to an amazing man, Dr. Kenneth Moger. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been married just over 13 years. And um, I've just been blessed with doing the cooking classes because it's kind of part of his practice, and I'm able to help his clients. And um, I'm loving it, getting a chance just to reach out to the community. Well, it's so beautiful. So let's go back and talk about what inspired you to start teaching other people how to cook. Well, I started young, um, enjoying cooking. I was one of those latchkey kids um, mm. where, you know, mom was working. And she used to really enjoy cooking. And so she would leave recipes and they would be like, you know, make a whole chicken with fresh <laughs> herbs and whatnot. And um, my sister, who's five years older than me, she would be the one in charge and she really didn't like cooking. <laughs> so she would say, even though we were supposed to switch off, she'd say, oh, it's your night tonight. <laughs> so I had to do, um, you know, most of the cooking and I really liked it. And pretty soon I started kind of experimenting with my own things. So um, by the time I met my husband, you know, I, I really enjoyed it. It's something that I just, I like to do. And I was pretty good at it. And, um, and then Ken, he really just started bringing home information about nutrition and just breaking things down to a level that it just made sense to make changes in our lives. And we started teaching this to our clients the more we learned. Um, you know, his patients would come in and start asking, well, what, what does your wife, you know, what is she making for you guys at home? And so he, <laughs> he's the one that said, you know, I think you should do a cooking class. And it terrified me. I'm like, why on earth? What do they want to know about what we're cooking? <laughs> well, so. Rachel, it's so um, interesting because we were talking. Mm -hmm. A lot of people nowadays talk about getting healthy and how yes. to get healthy. Yeah. But you don't really know how to start or you don't know, you know how to take that first step at home. Right. So tell me a little about what, what would you tell someone that first step or what's something I can start to do? Well, the first thing you got to do is get the fear away. I mean, cooking is so easy. There's so many beautiful, wonderful, colorful, <laughs> flavorful foods out there. I love that you say that. <laughs> say that again. Cooking is so easy. Cooking because is that's, easy. That's amazing to hear. Well, it doesn't have to be hard. And when you think of healthy cooking, a lot of people think, oh, it's going to taste like cardboard. And that's just not the case. There's lots of bold spices and flavors out there that are really easy to add in and make things really taste flavorful, things that your kids will love, you know, you'll enjoy, if you're married, your husband enjoy. And if you're single, you know, it doesn't take that much time. But I think cooking has become a lost art, and we're not teaching it to our children. Um, and certainly with all the packaged foods, it's mm. something that we don't practice very often. And we've actually even forgot to ask what's in our food. <laughs> so, um, you know, I would say to anyone just starting is just be willing to start and don't be too hard on yourself. For me and, and my family, we took steps. I, I kind of didn't like giving up some of the butters and creams and things mm -hmm. that I was cooking with as I moved those and transitioned them out and learned newer, healthier ways like using coconut and what have you. Um, it just became a part of who we are. But you don't have to go home and throw everything out in your cupboard and think, that's it, I'm just gonna go get all these amazing healthy grains, and you don't even know where to start. Right. So I love to help people learn how to start. I will bring things into my class and show them, this is what these grains look like. This is, if you're buying packaged food, this is a better choice for you than what you're currently having. And you know, this is the price. People are concerned about price. This is what to look for in produce. This is how you chop a bell pepper. Start by taking the stem off, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's make it really simple. You don't have to be afraid to cook. You, you talked about the expense and, and mm -hmm. the reason that we should be mm -hmm. sitting down at the healthy kitchen mm -hmm. and the healthy table. Yeah. So tell me, what, what's happening? Why, why do we need to get back to healthy cooking? Well, it's important because we need to be healthy and we need to put mm -hmm. foods in our body that are going to sustain us and help us to live long, healthy lives. I do that with my kids and my family. I want my husband, I don't want my husband to have clotted arteries. I don't want to worry whether or not he's going to have a heart attack. Mm. I don't want to think that the things that I put in my children could potentially cause cancer. And I don't want that for our community. My kids are going to grow up and marry your kids, right? right? And so, or, you know, my community's kids. 
I don't want them to be in the situation where they're losing their friends or their loved ones. And so when you make choices, I think it's really important. A lot of people are fearful about buying organic. You know, it costs a little bit more, and so um, they're concerned about that. But when you do perimeter shopping, you know, you don't go and get all of the box foods and things in the center aisles. You actually go around the outside of the grocery store and get your whole foods and mm -hmm. your produce you're really not going to be spending that much more money if you're choosing to buy organic whenever you can. And there's markets, there's all kinds of things that you can go to to get healthy food. So it's you've got to make the choice that I'm instilling, I'm, I'm deciding that this is important enough that if I invest in my family and my health now, then later I'm not going to have to worry about the expense of the triple bypass mm. or the cancer treatment. So you just have to decide, you have to make it a priority. You have to say, no, this is important. And um, often when you have other people in your lives, it's, it's easy to do that, but you've got to do it for yourself too. So if you're, you know, for me, I've got to eat healthy too. I've got to take care of these kids and run my husband's practice. Right. Um, so I just think, I, I encourage people because it's almost like you shop with a card. You know, if you had a card that said, every time I took a chip out of this because it was a bad choice, or I added points to it because it was a good choice, I mean, what, we, what would we do? We just don't think long term enough. Um, and if you start making those choices now, you stop thinking long term. It just becomes a, a part of who you are, and you start feeling healthier and more vibrant. And you know, it's not that not that hard. Well, and it's infectious. I I love your passion. I love your um, dedication to the subject. Mm. It's so wonderful. So maybe give us a little um, tip that we can leave with. Um, tell me about some of the spices, and you were talking about how you can add spices yeah. to healthy food, and and it's really quite easy. It is easy. I brought some spices um, just because. They're so colorful and amazing. I, I really enjoy food. And that's why it's, you know, my classes are bringing it back to the table because mm -hmm. I think um, for my family and for our faith, it brings a certain honor and glory to what we're, what we're given. Mm -hmm. And I'm so appreciative that God just made food so just beautiful to look at and flavorful and fun. And, and so anyway, I brought these because these were amazing. But when, we, when Ken and I got to eat, I always try to figure out what's in that. If I like something, what is that? You know, I could do that at home. And so what I do is, although, you know, I, I sell spices and things like that, because some people don't have time to buy bulk herbs. But I love to be able to teach you how to make them should you want to. Mm. So take, for example, ta taco seasoning. Taco seasoning is so easy. It's just basically cumin and, and chili powder. So if you, if you have cumin and chili powder in your cupboards, you don't need to go buy that packet because mm -hmm. the packet might have silicone dioxide in it, anti-caking agent, you know, colors, artificial flavors, things that you don't, you know, you, your body doesn't want. So, um, and you this could, probably tastes a hundred times better than the silicone good. dioxide. And <laughs> it's pretty good because mm -hmm. I like to buy fresh organic mm. bulk herbs and I get them from sources all over the world. Mm. I've got this amazing company that just, their values are right in line with mine. And so, you know, for the, the chilies, I get them from Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe if we're looking at Indian things, some of the curries that I make, I get those spices from India and, and they're all organic and grown in sustainable um, in a sustainable way. So anyway, back to the back to the spices. Yeah, you can make it as simple as doing the cumin ground, fresh ground cumin smells so good and um, and chili powder or you can add in some things like oregano and mm. you know ground garlic and ground onion and you know you could take it to extreme or you could keep it really really simple. So Yum. I like to teach people about the spices and let them know how to use them in their food to quickly easily spice stuff up. Great. Well, this has been such an eye-opening experience. Uh, I want to see you cooking and baking a chicken and using your spices. <laughs> Where can we find out more information and how to learn more and find out what you're doing? Well, you can, um, funny you said baking a chicken. One of the <laughs> classes that I did was Chicken 101. We took this chicken and we started with a fresh chicken and, you know, fresh spices and did the whole thing and then and then I made leftovers from that and we did soup and just really stretched this chicken out. Um, <laughs> but we have cooking classes on DVDs now so you can Great. certainly if you can't if you're not in my area you can um, email um, my office and you could look at our website so my email is Rachel which is R-A-C-H-E-L at M-Y-R-C-C dot com. You could also uh, look us up out on the web www.myrcc.com and RCC stands for River City Chiropractic. That's my husband's practice. Um, eventually you'll probably see my own web page coming off from that. Um, I'm not to that point yet. Um, through the cooking mm -hmm. classes, you know, you could come to the cooking classes and I've recently been, um, I've had a lot of people ask me, hey, would you 
come do this for me in my house? If I got a few friends together, would you come do this, you know, and show us? That's a great so idea. I'm in the process of getting that already, and I'm really excited. I've had a lot of great feedback about that. I've already got people that are saying, "Yeah, I want to do that. Come on in," and you know, they could choose what they want to make, and we can make it fun in, in their kitchen. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's so exciting. Thank you so much for being here, Rachel. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you, Christy. It was great being your guest today. Thank you. And we'll see you again on America's Leading Experts.